to this video. My name is Sareka and this is Sarah and I'm from Soma Guidance and Sarah is from Yoga in the Sun and we're here today to talk about a 21 day yoga fundraising event challenge that we're organising in order to promote International Yoga Day on the 21st of June and we're going to just discuss today what that all entails, who we're going to be fundraising for, and what's expected of you and how you can join, and just to get you a little bit inspired along the way. So Sara, let's start off with you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Yoga in the Sun, please? Sure. Um, yoga in the Sun, I started about uh, 15 years ago here in uh, Mauritius. Um, I trained in London uh, with the British Wheel of Yoga. I've been practicing yoga for about 20 years but teaching yoga for about 16 years now. Um, so I run my classes from my studio in Petit Rafay in the north of the island. So I'm running uh, Hatha yoga classes, pregnancy yoga classes, mindfulness yoga, uh, meditation and also aqua yoga which is a new addition to uh, the practice. Um, however I also run retreats that I run from my studio here in the north of the island as well. So I hand you over to Sareka from Soma Guidance who will give you a brief outline of what she does. Hi, yes, I'm Sareka and Soma Guidance is one from here at Yoga in the Sun and we've been working together and collaborating for a while now. I run from here Reiki sessions, oracle card readings, Thai yoga massage and yes, um, also shamanic journey work as well. So if ever you're interested, you can always join in and book a session with me. Um, Thai yoga massage is a particularly nice session. It's whereby you lie on the floor on a mat, fully clothed, and whilst you're lying down, I'll be applying yoga acupressure onto you, um, which is actually opening up the energy lines in the body, and all the while also using the yoga to actually stretch and open up the body so it's a relaxing but also a stimulating massage as well. Um, my work is pre preliminary energetic which means you don't necessarily, it's stuff that you can't see but it's always going on um, and it's just something that's always interested me in my life so in my, in, in my work. Thank you. Wonderful, excellent. So Today we're going to discuss basically about this event, which is the 21 Day Yoga Challenge. So just to uh, give some insight into the charity that we're supporting through this event, it's called SOS Fam. They're based in the centre of the island in Babasa, and their primary work is offering services to women and girls who are uh, experiencing domestic violence. So they offer shelters and facilities for these families to exit situations that are quite unfortunate. So. We want to support this very uh, worthy cause. As women, we feel like it's a very important cause to support, and we really hope that you can come on board, um, even if it's just to give a donation for this charity, but also to support this event as well. It will be a thousand rupees, um, so that money will go all to SOS Fam, um, and we are giving our time free of charge here to offer you these services through the next 21 days of the challenge. So um, I'll hand you back to Sareka who has some questions. Yes, um, you mentioned that there's going to be a contribution. What is the deadline for actually registering? So the registration date will be, uh, the last registration date will be the 31st of uh, May. So up until this point, till then, we would like you to register. So that means to pay the fee that's chargeable and then obviously you can sign up to all of the uh, videos that we're going to be posting online for you to start your sun salutation journey. Yes. And why a sun salutation challenge? So the sun salutation challenge came about through just discussions that Sareka and I had. We were just discussing the idea of actually building um, a challenge so people could come to yoga for the first time, perhaps they've never experienced yoga, um, and to do this uh, collection of postures and bring it together as one. So a sun salutation is about five or six postures joined together like a flowing sequence. So your mind, body and breath are all together, very holistic, but also very invigorating and also stretching the body, uh, 
creating more flexibility in the body and stretching out obviously hamstrings, hips, uh, all the tight areas like shoulders. If you do sit a lot at a desk, you will be having pain in the shoulders, perhaps all the lower back. So this is an excellent routine to learn. So we'll be taking you through videos to help you achieve this goal. Thank you. And is this challenge suitable for beginners and advanced practitioners? So for both uh, beginners and uh, advanced practitioners, definitely. We are offering videos to support those people that are just new to yoga. There'll be modifications and other variations. And also for the more advanced practitioners, you can obviously add more postures as well and you can do more rounds of the sun salutation to help you achieve um, a bigger number. And does it have to be 21 salutations? Absolutely sun not. 20, 20, 21 uh, sun salutation rounds is just basically a number we thought would be nice because it's celebrating the 21st of June, which is International Yoga Day, and we're carrying this challenge on for 21 days. So the end of the uh, challenge, we'll all come together um, Piti Arfle at the studio and you'll hopefully be able to do your 21 rounds. But if you can't do 21, you can always do 5, 6, 10, 9, whichever number you choose. It's not a competition. Right? Absolutely, no competition. We listen to our body. And no ego. And no <laughs> ego, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And um, what if the sun salutations take for some people longer than others? Yeah, I mean, again, you know, if it's longer or shorter, your rounds, then that's fine. You can do less or more or just sit quietly, meditate, uh, relax. Um, you know, it's really personal. Everyone's on a different uh, time capacity. So, you know, a different ability as well and different fitness level. So all of that is being taken into consideration. But once you've learnt the actual uh, sequence, you can do as little or as much as you wish. And it doesn't have to be done in 45 minutes. That's just a a time frame roughly to get, give you some guidance. Okay, great. And from the 1st of June to the 20th of June, what's actually going to be happening then? Okay, so each day from the 1st of June to the 20th, we will be loading up videos around the theme of the sun salutation. We'll give you a little bit of philosophy, we'll give you some practical tips, we'll be giving you modifications, variations, other ideas on how you can do the sun salutation with uh, different sounds, or with music, um, just to take you through another experience of this sequence. And how can practitioners monitor their progress as they're going along through that period? Excellent, that's a good point. So progress, obviously, you would probably want to see over the course of the three weeks how you are progressing. So we're going to upload a PDF file, uh, like a form that you can download and you can monitor your process, uh, progress sorry, on that form just by filling in various questions and answers and tracking that progress. So if you have a goal, maybe set that goal at the very beginning and then obviously as you go, you can monitor that progress. Yes. And then what's actually going to be happening on the 21st? So the 21st of June, International Yoga Day, it's a massive worldwide event. Uh, normally people come together and they do 58 rounds of sun salutation. So we're kind of doing about half of that roughly. So we'll be coming here at the studio in Piti Rafa in the north and we welcome everyone to come and join in on this day, any time of day, probably from about nine o'clock till five o'clock. So people can come and do their sun salutations. If you can't make it at the studio, feel free to do it at home. You might like to record yourself doing a little bit or take a photo of you doing it. And that would be great to see uh, what you've uploaded on that. But you know, it's really flexible and we just want to, you know, welcome everybody. And in regards to the sun salutations and this challenge, are there any contraindications? Okay, that's a really extremely good point. Obviously, if you have any kind of heart problems, diabetes, um, high blood pressure, um, hernias, glycoma, spinal injuries, any kind of recent operations, you need to be seeking advice from your GP or doctor or physician. That's a really important uh, point to have because you need to have a, a full checkup before you start any kind of new exercise program. So we do have a waiver given the instructions on that before you sign up. But for those that are used to exercise um, and have done yoga before, there shouldn't be any real problem for you to access this challenge. And kind of, I guess, linked into that is why is it important to have a warm up and then like a 
before that session, before and after doing this practice of sun salutation. Really important to warm up, definitely. So even if you are somebody that is regularly working out, any kind of warm up will help to open up your muscles and your joints. If you're not used to moving and you sit a lot in a desk, um, at work, you know, on a chair, you know, sedentary kind of sitting, you really need to do a lot of warming up. So 10 to 15 minutes, maybe longer, just to get those joints opening and freed up just to get you ready for these physical movements. Um, and if you aren't flexible, even more uh, stretching is required just before you start the practice. So we will be uploading a video on that exact uh, theme. So we'll be posting that probably at around day two or three. And how long would you say it be? Uh, 15 to 20 minutes roughly, but if you really are strapped on time, 10 minutes is better than nothing. Okay, great. And what about the best time of day and the kind of, and the environment surroundings for doing the Ideally, practice? ideally sun salutation is performed early morning uh, or late evening, you know, kind of just before the sun sets. Sunrise, sunset are the sort of optimum times. Now, obviously, that's not suitable for everybody, but morning is ideal. Um, but any time in the day when you have some free time, just a nice clean environment that you want, an open window, not too drafty obviously, uh, have some water by your side, you don't want to be glugging it obviously, just a little sip if you need uh, just to refresh yourself. Um, really important just to have a nice space that you can enjoy time for yourself. Um, and obviously always incorporate a little bit of relaxation at the end, it's always advisable to rest at the end in Shavasana or the corpse pose or if you prefer just to sit and meditate for a few moments, just to allow the breath to settle and for your heart rate to lower as well, just to back to normal. Right, I think for now, I think that's definitely a lot of good questions and a lot of good answers there, just to give a general understanding about yeah. this challenge yeah. and how to move forward with it. So we'd just like to remind you to please register with the link down below um, just fill in the form, send it back to us and we hope that you're inspired to join um, and to think about this challenge as something that can help you to improve in these different areas in your life, improve the well-being of your life and, and its longevity and, and happiness. So if there's anyone in your family or in, in your friend circle that would be interested to also maybe join so you can really build a community around this then please get them involved um and um, but i think that's everything from me is there anything to add from you sarah yeah i mean like i said earlier you know we want to bring yoga to as many people as possible it's not just about your physical well-being but it's also mental well-being your emotional well-being you know yoga is a full package it's really benefiting so much more than just physical and obviously what we're doing here today and what the purpose of this challenge is also is to give back to our community. So if you can't join in on the challenge, then maybe you'd like to contribute financially to the challenge or offer something else. We're very open to yeah. suggestions. So please leave any comments below or any suggestions, uh, feedback. And obviously if you have any questions, please post those as well. Yeah, and we're going to be doing the challenge with you as well. Absolutely, we'll so be on the day. <laughs> Absolutely, we'll be joining in for everyone to uh, join in with us. So looking forward to welcoming you on the 21st of June. For now, we'll say thank you very much to Sareka from the Soma thank Guidance. Thank you, Sarah, from Yoga and the Sun. And we we'll, will, we'll hear from you soon. Thank you so much and namaste. Namaste.